The circle of life, guys, as taught by President Barack Obama, every camper will meet its end, being quickscoped by a quickscoper. Every quickscoper, quickscoped by an MLG quickscoper. Every MLG quickscoper, quickscoped by a phase MLG quickscoper. Every phase MLG quickscoper, fucking quickscoped by an erection lasting five to six hours. Notify your doctor. But this is all just common knowledge. Everybody knows this fucking shit, okay? But allow me to teach you something that you don't already know. You ready for it? Okay. Even the strongest MLG quickscopers will eventually fall. And that is where our story begins. At the end. If you want to watch the beginning, I have like two other videos. I mean, I'm just like throwing that out there, but uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we're getting back into the fall. This is the fall of the quickscoper. If you weren't here for the last video, the rise of the quickscoper, basically little Calvin here just joined a Call of Duty quickscoping clan, and uh, he's uh, pretty happy about it, okay? Just a little bit. Just a Okay, he is ecstatic about this shit. And by Calvin, I mean NQSL Loch Ness. That's his name. Pretty fucking stupid, I know. I I'm Calvin, just FYI. Just... <sighs> But little Calvin here joins NQSL, the National Quickscoping League, and uh, for the first month he fucking loves it, okay? He has a ton of fun, he plays with them every single day, they trick shot, they do all the fucking spinning around shit, he has a great time, okay? And that's pretty much it, Calvin just, you know, continues to play with them and eventually he's walking to school one day and he gets hit by a fucking semi-truck. Uh, yeah, the story ends. Except for, uh, that didn't fucking happen, okay? One day, they're playing high-rise, okay? Calvin and his NQSL squad, okay? National Quickscopers here. And one of the members decide to invite one of their friends. Now, to be honest, I can't remember his name. But we're just gonna call this motherfucker... Steven. Now look, I'm not fucking Dr. Phil or anything, but I will literally put money on the fact that if Steven didn't join that day, NQSL would be fine today. And I would still be trickshotting... I'm completely joking, but Steven literally fucked this shit up. I'm just saying, okay? And uh, I'll take it one step further and say, Steven, if you're watching this video, I don't fucking like you, okay? And if I see you, I'm gonna fucking punch you in the face. Okay, I'm joking, but seriously, fuck that Steven guy, okay? But, uh, Steven here joins, and he immediately starts pulling out wires out of his asshole, and starts building a fence. And I don't know what you guys are gonna ask. What type of fence? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? You can't build a fence in Call of Duty. No, I'm talking about a metaphoric fence. On one side of the fence, you love Steven, Steven's a great guy. On the other side of the fence, I fucking hate this guy. No, but basically what this Steven fucker would do is he would join and start arguing with like half the people in the group, right? And he just kind of had that personality where you either love him or you fucking hate his guts. You know, the more I think about it, I realize that I actually have that personality as well. No, but this goes on for a few weeks and every time he joins, everybody is either like, Oh my god, it's Steven! What up, bro? What up? Or like, Oh my god, he is here again. Fuck. But some time goes by and eventually one rainy cold day pops up. And Calvin and his squad are playing High Rise, a private lobby. And fucking Steven joins. But this time something was different. There was anger in the air. And when Steven was running around being obnoxious as shit and being annoying, someone saw him and didn't decide to shoot him with a sniper, but pull out his fucking little pistol and gun little fucking Steven down like a dog. Now, I know that everybody here did not play like Call of Duty back then, but if you shoot someone with an actual gun that's not like a sniper rifle or you don't quick soap someone, People get fucking upset, okay? Really upset. But fucking Steven here gets killed by the pistol, and something snaps in him. His little obnoxious personality just dies, okay? Something was unleashed. The beast was unleashed. And he just grabs his mic and yells into it, YOU'RE GONNA FUCKING PAY! Okay, FYI, he did not yell that. Okay, that'd be fucking insanely retarded. <laughs> He just, he was, he was very upset, okay? And the next round came around, and he didn't pick his fucking sniper rifle. He bought a fucking AK-47, like this is CS fucking go, okay? And he went over and killed every fucking buddy, like terrorists win, straight up. And he just sat there laughing. <laughs> he didn't laugh like that, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs>
But after this, like, half the fucking people leave. They, they all rage quit, okay? And the other half are just sitting there laughing their ass off with Steven. And this is just the beginning, okay? Fast forward a couple of weeks, okay? Every single time we play and Steven's invited, he does the same fucking shit and kills everybody and everybody leaves. But that's not even the worst part. Fast forward a bit, okay? Today, Steven's not even fucking on, okay? He got grounded for burning someone's house down. I would not be surprised whatsoever. Like, who really fucking knows with this guy? I'm just saying, dude. Fuck. But a lot of people are happy that don't like Steven because he's not on and we're going to be able to play with a uh, Steven-free environment, right? But uh, one of Steven's friends decides to, uh, hmm, kill everybody with a fucking AK. And that was the last string for a lot of the people. Like, a ton of people left that shit right after that. And they're like, fuck Steven, dude, I'm done. This is fucking stupid. But the match basically ends. Everyone leaves. And I get out and I'm sitting in the lobby and then I get an invite. From who? S'more. Let me be clear, not national quickscoping cunts more. The original s'more account, and I joined that shit, okay? But little fucking Calvin joins, and he's like, s'more, what happened to NQSL? And he says, I don't need those fucking guys, I'm gonna be YouTube famous, fuck them. And little Calvin just sat there, taking it all in, when he gets an invite from NQSL trials. He joins, and he has the news. Hey, uh, Calvin, we're cleaning up the roster of NQSL. Sorry, dude, you're out. Faggot. I sat there, looked at the ground for a bit, looked back up, and said, Good luck, buddy, and left. Left behind the witchcraft of the quickscope, and played the game with my friends. And eventually left and played a different game. Because that game went to shit. And I think I'm going to end it on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Leave a like for a half of a Hot Pocket. And yes, only half a Hot Pocket, okay? Times are tough, dude. I'm just making a buy. You think I can get everyone a full Hot Pocket? No, dude. Chokes aside, though, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I have a few more stories that involve the fucking quick scoping and shit like that. But this is pretty much the sum of everything that happened. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, peace, peace. Oh, I almost forgot. Fuck you, Steven. Seriously. <laughs>